Uh, I had a statutory case with a 15 year old. Did you hear that? Okay. They'll take this clip. I had a statutory case with a 15 year old. Make you think less of me, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't. I know the things that happened to me in my youth. I know how, uh, I know how I've reacted to the things that happened to me in my youth. Thank God nothing ever happened to me from my parents. The things that, um, they allege that, uh, their mother and father allowed to happen in their house is her. Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday. That's right. It's fuck that guy Thursday. That's right. That guy right there, that's Johnny Scoville. And fuck that guy to his brother, too. Tommy Scoville. Now, those aren't their real names. They use aliases. Because they're both fucking derelicts. Degenerates. One is just a multiple felon, a sex offender, uh, a drug addict, an active addict, a total con man. The other guy is the same fucking thing. He just hasn't been convicted of sex offenses or felonies. Doesn't mean he hasn't done it. Um, Tommy Scoville now. That's right. Brett Allen Miller, sex offender. He does a show last night comparing himself to the fucking Menendez, Melendez, whatever brothers, and says that he was uh, abused as a child sexually. He said this before in his streams, and he's used it to blame, like, what he's done in life on that he was sexually abused as a child. He says it wasn't by his parents. I think he's lying. He said it was by an older female. Uh, previously, like a couple months ago, he had said that uh, that affected the way that he went on with life and uh, all his relationships and um, how he felt about women and how he would treat them after that. You know, as, as life went on, after the abuse, it affected the way that he was with women. Now, he minimized the, his, his sex offense. It, it was sexual assault. There, it wasn't a um, statutory issue. It wasn't a consensual thing where there was just an age difference. He used force. I think he's blaming that on some bullshit thing that he supposedly got molested when he was a child, but he's sure to say that his parents didn't do it. I think his parents, well, I'll let you decide. I know his cuck fucking brother is, says that he wrote a book. And there's a book coming out. And I think they're trying to sell books right now. That's why Toots last week came out after over three years of everybody calling him a sex offender. Because we fucking know it. He finally comes out and says, hey, I had a statutory case with a 15-year-old. Presumably a female. <laughs> it was a female. Even though he's got eyes on Reese's son. I've heard a lot of rumors about him watching Reese's son naked in the shower while Tommy takes matters into his own hands. Well, Tommy goes on. Tommy. That's right, Tommy. Brett, fucking sex offender. He's on this show last night comparing himself to these fucking murderous brothers who were molested by their parents. Yet Toots says that it wasn't his parents that did that to him. Um... There was another show recently where he said that he's got a really dark past and he's got a lot of dark thoughts, but he doesn't act on them. He really wants to fucking cr crush people's larynxes. Nah! Crush my larynx, you fucking faggot! Nah! Sex offender. You're a fucking sex offender. Now we fucking told you fucking people. Johnny Scoville is a piece of shit who promotes his sex offender brother. He says that he's family friendly and he fucking lies. Now I'm not the most popular fucking dude in the world. Maybe people haven't seen my videos or Tom's videos or Scott's videos or anybody else that's been putting out videos warning people about these fucking Miller brothers. The Scovilles, Johnny and Tommy. Now I put out these videos 
And I know people see them. And I know that people see Tom's videos and other people's videos. And our videos are reported constantly. So people are seeing it. And I see through studio where my shit is being shared. All on Facebook. I don't have Facebook. All on email and everything. So my videos are being sent to you fucking Millers. I know you see it. And I know your fucking people see it. Your subscribers. All the people who, like Johnny Scoville, you send all your people over to your sex offender brother's channel where all he does is talk about salacious shit nowadays. It's not a recovery channel. He's on the Diddy thing and whatever else is dirty, filthy, seedy, sexual shit because he's like a fly to shit and he's a sex offender and, oh boy, he just loves fucking talking about that. Fuck you to anybody who's still following Johnny Scoville or Tommy Scoville. Like, you know that the one guy is a sex offender. He admitted it. And you're still watching him. So anybody, like, watching, following, well, not watching, you can watch it just to make fun of it. But don't follow it. Don't put ones in the chat. Don't like his shit. No super chats and donations and memberships. And the same with uh, Johnny. Like, he pretends to be family friendly and sends everybody over there to watch his pedo brother, and he doesn't tell anybody that. And you people are still watching, subscribing, liking, commenting, ones in the chat, supporting the people like Lone Star Mastiff Farms. They support this fucking sex offense, obviously. Johnny's all, hey, I'm, I'm doing a, a pain consultation. I'm, I'm reviewing their pods. For an upcoming um, Pepper Palooza Lone Star Mastiff Farms event, which is really just a Nambla event, some kind of fucking gathering of people that support sex offenders. Maybe they eat peppers while they're down there, eating peppers and diddling peckers. You're all fucking pathetic. Why are you still up this guy's ass? I mean. You got a sex offender and a sex offender's brother who promotes him constantly. And you guys think it's all right. Johnny Scoville has done for the Pepper community what Jared Fogle did for Subway. I'm sorry, people. That's the way it is. You idolize these people and it makes you look like you support sex offenses Crimes against children, conning people, being dishonest, lying, or you know, all this shit. I can't keep going on about this. I'm going to have to stop. Right? Nobody's listening. We live in a world of people that are enamored with a sex offender and his brother who promotes him. You know, Johnny Scoville is like the Don King a <laughs> fucking Tommy. <laughs> He's a promoter. He promotes a sex offender. Tommy Scoville came out last week on his channel. I've showed videos. The videos are all over the internet. The story's been on the internet. We've had the rap sheets for a couple of years. But nobody believes it. But it's out there. And now you just excuse it. And that's disgusting. You all ought to be ashamed. Now I'm going to play a little video clip in this. Maybe it'll be after this video, or maybe it was before I started talking. I don't know. I'm not an expert with editing. I, I don't know how to do this stuff. Pay attention, people. You're all supporting a sex offender and a sex offender's brother who promotes him. And Lone Star Master Farms, you disgust me. Anybody who's buying your shit is supporting a sex offender. Really. Now, Lone Star Mastiff Farms has said previously, I saw an interview or something they had on the internet, a story that once Johnny Scoville of Chase the Heat started reviewing their shit, they sold, I think, over 2,000 boxes of pods or 3,000 boxes. So that's their Jared Fogel. Go ahead. Sell your fucking pods. What's the cost? So people are going to say that you support a sex offender? or the brother of a sex offender who promotes it and lies and says that he's family friendly. You disgust me. All of you disgust me. 
Anybody who's in the League of Fire, you're supporting a sex offender. Anybody who supports Johnny Scoville, you're supporting a sex offender. That's how it is. Johnny Scoville promotes his brother. Doesn't tell everybody that his brother is a sex offender. His brother said that, though, a week ago. He says he's got a statutory case, which is a lie. It was uh, not a statutory case. You know, he used violence, force. He's got a sexual assault conviction. They just won't speak about it, though. They won't go into it. They'll block you if you start asking questions about it. Well, that's enough, folks. I'm done for today. But you're going to want to stay, stay tuned for tomorrow. Because we got something really special planned tomorrow. That's right. Thanks for watching. Happy Fuck That Guy Thursday. Uh, I had a statutory case with a 15-year-old. Did you hear that? Okay. They'll take this clip. I had a statutory case with a 15-year-old. Make you think less of me, doesn't it? I don't know. I don't. I know the things that happened to me in my youth. I know how, uh, I know how I've reacted to the things that happened to me in my youth. Thank God nothing ever happened to me from my parents. The things that, um, they allege that, uh, their mother and father allowed to happen in their house is hurt. People, that's been known to happen. That has definitely been known to happen. I'm not the greatest bulb, you know. Uh... Elena Flock of uh, Swan Boat says, We know your heart, Tommy. That's a beautiful thing to say. It really is. That's a beautiful thing to say. I think that, um... I think that, honestly, you guys would be bummed out if you could see it. I think it's probably a little bit darker than you would hope. And I'm not... I'm just being real. And I, and I struggle with this. You know, there are parts of me that are dark. I don't act on the stuff, I don't do anything like that, but there are parts of me that are dark. I still find myself constantly wanting to crush people's larynx. Um, I'm constantly... There... I mean, we, there, we can do a whole show on close yeah. calls. Yeah. But I think of First one in particular. In a, in a blue capri? That if they had... If, if one of those six police officers had their act together, nobody would have ever met me. Nobody would have ever met you. You would have just been two guys rotting away in jail for at least a 40 piece. Yeah, and I shouldn't because it just gives the trolls so much fun, but I don't give a crap. Uh, I had a statutory case with a 15 year old.